The other major lineage of Wuzhou Chen in the Philippines is that of the Benkiam Association, which unfortunately is no longer active in an official capacity, although many students are still keeping the art alive. Benkiam was founded by Tan Ka Hong in 1935 after he was sent to the Philippines by his father, Tan Kyong Beng, who had visited Manila previously in 1918, teaching a few students. One prominent master of Ben Kiam was the late Alex Ko, and I headed to the University of the Philippines in nearby Quezon City to meet one of his students, my friend Professor Felipe Hocano. Overall, you tense and relax every part of the body. What you do for the whole body. See, when we do this part, Sam Chen, there's hard and soft. They always interplay with one another, right? If you notice. Uh, some versions of Sam Chen are hard all throughout. Um, for us, in our lineage, that's contraindicated. That's your pathway towards a stroke, constant tension. Because uh, well, you have your tension from your daily lifestyle, your daily stress, and if you add the physical to that, you're compounding whatever difficulty your body's already experiencing from your emotional stress. So why do that, right? So this is actually hard and soft. See, look, this part here from Sun Chen. Soft, inhale, explode. Okay? Then, hard, exhale down then relax see soft hard soft inhale okay step inhale explode hard soft soft hard relax soft Soft, hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, okay, soft, hard. And when you're doing kun or the fist, it's not going to be that slow, but it definitely is faster. But your body is now used to alternating hard and soft, hard and soft, and becomes instinctive. So as we do application, we go faster and faster. In the early days of outward Chinese migration, martial arts associations served as a community hub for young men to offer mutual support and protection while in a strange land. Many of them only accepted ethnic Chinese as members, although nowadays are much more inclusive. Here in the Philippines, I gained insight into the two major lineages of Wuzhou Chen, Ben Qian and Kong Han. However, in the last decade, many senior masters of other styles have passed away, and the schools have either closed down or maintained a much lower profile. The role martial arts has played in the Chinese diaspora elsewhere is something I'm keen to explore more of in the future. 
How has martial arts served the community of Chinese migrants in other places? And what is its continuing relevance today? For this trip though, I will now turn my attention to the Filipino martial arts, and in the next episode, we'll head deep into the countryside to meet Master Rene Tongson to learn about Abanico Tres Puntas, a highly effective system of Arnis which uses the stick, blade and empty hands. <laughs>